I'm extremely honored, we're all honored actually, to have with us today a man who's truly a hero to high school and college journalists and journalism educators because he consistently does one thing that many others do not. That is, he takes student journalism seriously as a training ground for both journalists and citizens um, and as an important window into the lives of young people. You know, and better yet, he doesn't just believe in student journalism, he also acts to defend it in ways that have changed our national landscape. You know, Dr. Leland Lee was, uh, Yee, excuse me, was elected to the California State Senate in November 2006 after serving four years in the State Assembly. Before that, he was a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors and the San Francisco Unified School District Board of Education. Today, he represents San Francisco and San Mateo County in the State Senate. He's the first Chinese American ever elected to the California State Senate and the first Asian American elected to the state's legislature's upper house in over 40 years. Um, in his short time in the Senate, Senator Yi has taken on a leadership position there as well. During his tenure in the legislature, Senator Yi has consistently fought for children, for open government, for consumer protection, and for civil rights. For a state legislative career of less than a decade, he's had an inordinate amount of recognition for his efforts. For example, and this is only a very partial list, he's been named Legislator of the Year by the California Association of School Psychologists, the Faculty Association of California Community Colleges, the Associated Students of University of California Davis, the American Federation of State and County and Municipal Employees. He's received the Freedom of Information Award from the California Newspaper Publishers Association, the Distinguished Service to Journalism Education Award by the Journalism Association of Community Colleges, the Special Friend of Children Award by the National Association of School Psychologists, and the Building a State of Equality Award by Equality California, and the Champion of Journalism Education Award by the California Journalism Education Coalition. In addition, as a result of his work for public access, open government, and free speech rights, the organization Californians Aware named ye Senator Sunshine, uh, a moniker that I hope he's as proud to have as we are to, to um, reinforce. You know, but Senator Yee, despite all these other activities and his great recognition, is our hero primarily because of two bills he's guided through the California State Legislature. He has helped enact the Higher Education Governance Accountability Act, which brought major transparency reforms to the governing boards of the University of California and the California State University system, and Senate Bill 1696, which allows greater public access to government contracts, as well as audits and reviews of public agencies. Both bills, very important to journalists and the public's right to oversee their government. But even more meaningful to us, in 19, or excuse me, in 2006, Senator Yee's Assembly Bill 2581 made California the first state in the nation to specifically prohibit censorship of the college student press. And just this year, he managed to gain passage of Senate Bill 1370, which protects high school and college teachers and other employees from retaliation by administrators as a result of student speech, an effort to help stem the tide of student media advisors being punished based on what their students published um, when it was hard-hitting and accurate but controversial. Despite opposition to this bill from school administrators and school boards organizations, Senator Yee was able to persuade his colleagues in the legislature to pass the bill by overwhelming bipartisan margins. Um, the bill passed the Assembly 66 to 5 and the Senate 35 to 2. His efforts have inspired others around the country and begun what some believe will be a renewed effort to create state standards for student press freedom that recognize the value of citizenship education, not just school officials' interest in avoiding controversy. You know, perhaps we need more child psychologists like Leland Yee in our legislatures, but whatever the reason, Senator Yee has proven an articulate and tireless advocate for the rights of young people and especially student journalists. It's my great honor to welcome to Kent State University and to introduce to you the Honorable Leland Yee. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very, very much, Mark. And uh, <clears throat> I, think, I think with that introduction, um, I, I think you've taken all that I was going to say, so <clears throat> don't, don't know what more I can say. What, what I'd like to do is to maybe kind of talk a little bit about you know, how I got involved in this uh, particular area and uh, some of the things that you know, Mark talked about. And then you know, what I'd like to do is to finish up with some perspective as to why I think we're in the situation that we're in and to <clears throat> maybe help us then better understand you know, how can we uh, move off the dime relative to uh, you know, increasing the freedom of uh, student press both at the high school level and also at the college level. Uh, I, I was not born in this country. I came to this country when I was three years old. And so I don't know much about um, you know, my birthplace uh, in China. But as I was growing up, uh, you began to understand a little bit more about what a closed society was all about. Uh, you understand uh, that uh, you can't say a whole lot and that there are tremendous repercussions uh, if you, in fact, uh, speak out. And so as a young boy growing up in a land that was brought to him uh, by his uh, parents, uh, I began to uh, really look at uh, more seriously uh, what is the essence of this country and what is this thing called democracy. And what I soon found out was that it was probably one of the most enlightened concepts that um, anyone has ever developed anything that anybody has uh, come to uh, form. And it is a concept where basically you are an individual, but you're a free individual. And that, for me, was um, uh, rather uh, important. Uh, growing up uh, in the 60s, uh, where people were starting to question our government, uh, you can't question your parents, but you can question your government, uh, and, and those were exciting times. And uh, so when, when I uh, grew up and uh, went away to college, uh, my parents didn't want me to go too far. <clears throat> they probably regretted it after that because I ended up in Berkeley. And we were in the, thank you, we were in the height of the 60s and we were in the height of the anti-war movement. And it was at that time that I began to further understand uh, the importance of this democracy and our precious First Amendment. Because it was not about just simply thinking about things and being able to think about issues without any concern about your teachers or your concern about your parents or your community. It was really about being able to